Hey up duckies, Andy Liv here with another tutorial on OBS. This time we're focusing a little bit more on Stream Deck. So Stream Deck is such a powerful macro keyboard that you can just use for anything. I'm using a Stream Deck XL and I want to tell you about some of the little secret plugins you might not think about installing, alright? But before we get into it, like the video if you do, if it helps you, dislike it if you don't, and also subscribe it to help the channel massively. When we get to a thousand subs, I've got a little secret present. I'm going to be releasing some original Original music on on like Apple Music, Spotify, all that jazz. All right, let's get into it. All right, so just in case you didn't know, inside the Stream Deck software there are a ton of third-party plugins that you can use. So just here, you'll you'll see all your plugins on the right-hand side. If you go to the bottom press more actions and you'll bring up a full list of other plugins that you can use. As you can see this list is massive from games to stock market tickers to really useful home plugins to Twitch tools and that's the one that I want to show you today. I'm going to go to type in Twitch and use Twitch tools. All the plugins that Bar Raider make are absolutely phenomenal. Like the the work that they put into their plugins are just incredible. Like they're so useful. I mean, look at this one: advanced tools to control Twitch from your Stream Deck. Features include Twitch Pager, which listens to your Twitch chat and gives you a visual alert if someone uses the page command. So if you don't want to miss a certain message because you, you've got a lot of chatters in there, they can page it and it'll make a noise and you, you'll be notified so you don't miss that message. You've got clip to chat, you've got channel monitor which I love for raiding people because it shows all the streamers that you follow that are live. So I'm just going to install. I want you to try plenty of these plugins and let me know what you come up with and how you're using them. Install the profiles. And that's it. You'll see now we've got it on the right hand side. Twitch tools, bar raider. So I'm just going to come to a blank section here and drag one of these in. I'm going to show you the live streamers. So live streamers shows you all the people that are live that you follow. So the initial setup, it'll ask you to link your Twitch. So you just click here. Make sure you are logged into Twitch, but I'm guessing you already are. So you copy this code, which is different every time, and paste it in there. Submit it. And close done that's linked now to my twitch and you can see I've got five friends that are live so if I click into there you'll see all the people that are live I've got offside that's I get a little snapshot to show me what they're playing so I don't need to check what game they're playing if I want to raid them so if I'm playing overwatch you know I usually like to raid people that are playing the same game as me I, I can see that he's already on that and that's exactly what this plugin does so if I click on it at the bottom, if I long press on any of them streamers whilst I'm live, it'll trigger the raid command for that particular streamer. Like, how much time does that save? If you've got a list of all your friends, you're like, right, that's it, I want to gun raid off, so I'm gonna hold it down. I don't have to type anything in or even search for his channel, because I know he's live, I know he's there, I know he's playing the game that I want to see. Done. Easy. So, that is one of my favourite plugins. Also, the shout-out tool. I can't really demonstrate this just now because I'm not live, but what this does is it just, it looks a little bit ugly. I don't really like the, the icon, but don't, don't let that fool you. As you can see, this will chat the message to your Twitch chat, shout out username. So where it pulls that username from is when you are live and you've got people chatting in your chat, if you tap on this button on your stream deck, it will load up the list of all the chatters from most recent at the top so say if you got a raid and they come in bombarding your chat with the raid 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 you can pitch you can find the person that's uh, message raid and that's it send them a shout out straight away so without having to type it in copy and paste the name spelling the name wrong or anything like that you can shout them out at literally a push of the button like these plugins are so powerful like give them a try there's so many other things that you can do as well send messages do your viewers Twitch pager, which I, I love that when, when Twitch chat is absolutely going off on one. You, you can make sure you don't miss the urgent stuff, which is nice. But yeah, let me know how you find them plugins and what plugins your favorite. Like I say, I use voice meter as well. So a lot of them presets that I can do with my audio levels. And if you do want to know how I control my stream audio, because I've got quite an advanced setup where the stream here are a completely different set of audio levels to me. So if I just want to hear the game sound 
and only a little bit of music, I can do that, whereas the, the, the stream can listen to all, all the music they want. So it's all good, but you can actually view that video just up here, all right? But until next time, if you have liked this video and it's been useful, press that like button. If not, dislike it and obviously subscribe. It'll really help me out. I want to get to a thousand subs, like I said. But put your rocket for the stone, guys. I'll see you in the next one.